Welcome on everybody, Nikita here and today we will be talking about natural hair. So today I wanted to share with you guys what it is that I do to maintain my natural hair. I've been natural for approximately about six years and starting out it was a struggle. There are some things that I have learned along the way and I just want to impart that knowledge to all of you. New naturals, persons that have been natural for a while and feel like you don't know what you're doing. Here are my tips, what I've been doing over the years to maintain healthy hair and yeah, let's get into it. All right, so the first thing I want to share with you guys that it is very important to listen to your hair. And I know this sound like, wow, listen to your hair. But what I mean by this is that you may hear about this product on YouTube from a friend magical product that works wonderfully for them and then you try that product and it doesn't work porosity is important because it tells you how products absorb into your hair so that's something that you may want to do a little porosity test to see um and it's just putting your hair in a in something with water where you can see if it floats or it sinks but that's not what this video is about but that's just an aside um yes the importance of listening to your hair i realized at some points in this journey i think a little early on that certain products do not work in my hair um certain product products flake at one point i thought it was because i was mixing it with gel and then i started and that's a good little thing i picked up on the way if you use a um a mixture of products instead of putting it all in your hair whereas if you're using products for the first time what you can do is mix that in your hand so say you use a gel a leave-in conditioner and an oil you mix that in your hand and see if it mixes out clearly because i've had times where i have bought new products put them all in my head mix them up and the next day when i'm doing a twist out or whatever the style may be and i take that out licking my ear a snore snore <laughs> like just bare white flakes all over the place so definitely it's important to like if you're using new products just mix that in your hand see if it mixes well um as i was saying in point one listen to your hair um seeing what works for your hair but more important than that once you see what works for your hair read the ingredients like look at the back of the product see what it is so okay so this is one of my holy grail i'll show you, you some products at the end um but okay for Aussie Moist, what is it that's in Aussie that makes it work for my hair or say i use Aussie Moist and it works really well with my hair and i use another product that works really well with my hair i will look at both of those see what it is that's in those products and make a note of that so for one for me i know avocado works very good in my hair i know coconut oil works very any kind of coconut coconut oil coconut milk once it's a coconut panace it's gonna make my hair smooth it's a go it just works with my hair so it's good to know what works with your hair what are the major products in that and for what does not work same thing look at what it is that is in that product and over time you can know that okay this have shea butter shea butter no work with me so that's important to listen to your hair and know what it is that works and what does not work the next thing i want to say to you is routine over products yes i did list a product before i think there's so much natural hair products out there like there is so much every day i see a new natural hair line new natural hair products whereas i try to stay on the natural side i'm um in terms of all natural ingredients no parabens no sulfates there are certain things i try to avoid i want to stress that it's routine over products routine is very important you can buy the most expensive the top notch the recommended by all of the natural hair bloggers across the world you can buy those products but if you do not have a routine if you do not know okay on saturday i deep condition my hair on monday i get my spray bottle and i just re-wet my hair like if you do not have a routine I doubt your hair will do as well as it can. So while products are important and products are fun, like I enjoy trying new natural hair products, 
um i do not enjoy so much when they don't work for me but i do enjoy trying new natural hair products it's important to do a routine and i've slipped up on my routine many a times but it's good to have a framework so say um and you have to do it depending on your schedule you can't just look at somebody's routine and adopt it because people have different obligations and time and all of that natural hair is a lot of work guys like it's very time consuming there was a time when i was deep conditioning my hair like every week when i was oiling my hair like every other night um i'm i'm not so i haven't been so diligent but i'm definitely trying to get back on form but for me um again a spray bottle is essential what our hair needs more than anything else is moisture and if it is that your hair is moisturized properly then products hold up better and perform better and i found that so the in your hair regimen one important thing is having moisture so whereas your products may be water-based products are best and even though your products have a certain amount of water in them for me especially i find that my products apply better i feel that my hair when i and there are different methods i think i use lock liquid oil i go liquid which is water oil cream yeah liquid <laughs> i don't know why i can't remember liquid oil cream that's what i think i i that's what i know i use the lock method and i try to do that two times a week i used to be doing it three times i don't know what happened i just don't have the time i try to moisturize my scalp like right now i have braids in i use a dry shampoo about after the first week about once every week and then i oil my scalp another one time for the week um the oil that i use is like coconut oil but i add a bit of like peppermint extract if i had tea tree oil i would add that just to ensure that my scalp is not itchy so that's just a few things that i do but it's important for you to find a regimen and one that works for you so what are your hair needs for me um my hair can get dry really quickly so that's why i would ideally it would be best for me to moisturize my hair at least three days for the week sometimes i don't do that most times i'll do about two times but that's based on my hair needs so yes that's important the next thing is protective styling um i try to do protective styles about three times three four times a year and my major protective style is just getting my hair braided or i will like do a style that lasts me for a week i have this halo braid that i do i'll definitely do a video on that one of these days um that's my go-to style if it is that i'm not wearing my hair out or in braids I find that protective styles help me. It gives me a break from manipulating my hair every day as well as it gives me a break break because my hair is a bit time consuming. So protective styles to me, they help. Um, I don't have to manipulate my hair daily. So that gives my hair a little time to just relax and refresh. And I wear my protective styles like three weeks on average. I may wear this one a little longer because corona <laughs> but yes um yes protective styling and i know for like there's wigs there's braids there's a lot of things that you can do i find that wigs are not for me and probably for somebody else braids are not for you don't have that initial time to sit three to five hours to get your hair done but find what works for you so when it is that you have a busy week or month or you just do not have the energy to take on your hair care every day but even in your protective styling as i said i try to um clarify my scalp with my dry shampoo i try to oil my hair in my oil especially when i have braids i add some kind of like peppermint oil or tea tree oil i don't know i don't remember the category for those type of oils but something that will help to protect my scalp as well as prevent itching all right so we talked about the importance of listening to your hair we talked about routine over products we talked about protective styling the next thing i want to implore you to do is to just when you're doing your routine do a simple routine something that you are able to manage and continue you don't want to have a 300 step natural hair routine 
and on a given day you are just overwhelmed and you're not able to do it you want to make it simple and practical so for example if you want to ensure that you oil your hair in the night so what i would do is like put that on my bedside table put it beside whatever i'm using on my skin so you know you group those essential products in one place so it's more likely that it will happen so trying to ensure that you establish a routine and stick to it is important in um having healthy hair and another thing that i have and that's just for fun and that the last thing and that's just me i try to try different things i'll definitely be inserting pictures um i do love braids braids are my thing and in the last couple of years i've been doing this color which is number 27 blonde braids and they are just like i don't know how i used to wear black braids are um number two like i will not wear number two anymore number 27 all the way but yes just doing little things are fun i think sometimes especially if length is a goal of ours we can be so hard and fast lord man out of this man i want my ear break man out my ear boring people <laughs> But yes, like do something fun. Um, in December, I got a silk press, which I really enjoy just having my hair straight for a few days. Mind you, it rained. And okay, but I really did enjoy it. It lasted a full like three weeks. I had to like rot it because of the humidity and it was raining on and off but i really enjoyed doing my silk press i enjoy getting my braids especially adding a little color to my hair like just do something fun i find that for me if things are mundane if every day i get up and i twist up my ear and i wash and go and i have three big dirty twists on my head every time i look at myself make i get bored so do something fun try something with your hair like be cute don't just be so hard and fast and I want my hair to be mid-back by December. <sighs> if you hear the open saying, no, I'll be mid-back by December. Oh, But yeah. Um, guys, I hope that you found this tip. Help these tips helpful. And um, if it is that you have any specific hair-related questions, as I said, I've been natural for a little while i've gotten some things done through trial and error so definitely share those questions queries with me down below i am no hair guru but i do know a thing or two so i'll definitely help if i can thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one